Now, uh, coming to you, Dr. Peer, you are a veteran medical doctor as well as a veteran psychologist. We would like to know your understanding of some common misconceptions uh, prevalent in the society about uh, body positivity or body shaming. Yes, I will start uh, by saying body positivity is a movement or also a mindset that advocate uh, the celebration, the acceptance, and the inclusivity of all bodies, all the shapes of bodies, and uh, all, uh, all types. And there are, uh, we could say, four branches of psychology that uh, take care of it. The social psychology, which uh, study the cultural and the social problem linked with the shaming and uh, linked with the attitude that uh, create problems to the person that has uh, different uh, bodies. Then there is the positive psychology that uh, try to help people to accept themselves and to have a positive attitude with your body. Then there is the media psychology that works for uh, the communication, works for uh, helping uh, the information around uh, the body positivity. Then there is the health psychology that helps, of course, the people to be in shape, uh, to do fitness and to better their body. But what is missing? Imagine, follow me, imagine a square and imagine a circle around the square. The square is the body. The square is what there is on the stage and the circle is the backstage. Our normal experience is we only see the appearance, we only see the evidence. But for all traditions, the evidence are illusions. There is something behind from the appearance comes. The essence, in psychology we call it the self. So we, we could say, instead of speak of body positivity, we should speak of bodies positivities. Means the physical body, the energetical body, the emotional body, the mental body, and the spiritual body. In this way, we could call the self, I call this self, organismic self. So when we look to someone, we don't see only the shape of the body, but we see all the bodies. But to do this is not enough to say, I want to see you, accept you, or to look at the mirror and say, oh, I am fine. We need to shift in your state of consciousness. You need to master your inner experience. If you stay in our rational, ordinary mind, we only see the appearance. If, and we are judging ourselves. If we are judging ourselves, how we cannot judge you? To go beyond, so we should understand that the circuit of experience is feeling, acting and doing. The more we, we keep together the feeling, the acting and the doing, the more we are integral or holistic. If we are integral, we shift into consciousness and we go from the knowledge to the awareness. We become aware to see ourselves to disidentify to our content, to our feeling, to our, to our judgment, and see our, ourself as a consciousness, to see ourself as a self, as, and the self has no boundary, and the self is a subject with no space and no time. We can feel when I see you and I see me. I see you and I see me. Of course, there are the boundary, but these boundaries are not something that differentiate or separate. These boundaries are bridges, that are doors that open the connection between me and you. In this case, we all are one. This is not just something new age. This is something that you see, the more you are integral and integrated, the more you master your inner experience, the more when you see a shape, a, a body, you see a soul, you see the story of this person. You see all the sweet tear and blood and, uh, and the work that the person did to come as it is. And if you are able to see this, to see you and to see the other in this way, you don't need to 
fight for accept. This is normal. So the self-acceptance is something that happens, is a collateral effect of being in contact with yourself and master all your bodies. To me, we should uh, open the box and uh, see, of course, we define something, body positivity, but uh, we should uh, open that, uh, that box and see that body positivity is self-positivity. So it's, it's connection with uh, our true nature. We could say that any disease, any trouble with the, our body starts from the, to be far from ourselves. The more we reduce the distance with our true nature, the more we go beyond and the more the problem of body positivity disappear into the fall of your true nature. That is, of course, this fall of true nature from the circle, from the backstage, appear on stage through, for example, being shaped to do exercise in uh, master your emotion in a good uh, mindset but all these are manifestation of the core the self that is i know i am in contact with my own rhythm i am in contact with my true nature which is again beyond any appearance beyond any judgment on myself be beyond any maps I create. So we, we should name things, but also see that these names are the door to go beyond. So in this case, of course, we are speaking about body positivity, but don't stay close into. This, this positivity is a window, is a door to speak about our self, because we are one. And I would uh, like to thank you all our esteemed panelists and very patient and thoughtful audience, uh, you know, for making this discussion great. And there was one last question to all of you. Uh, the key uh, takeaway in one line for our audience. I should say that duality is the most problem. For example, as the as, uh, Gospel of St. Thomas said, nothing that comes from outside can affect you. So if you stay in the first attention. If you blame me, I feel hearted. But actually, you were the person that did something wrong, not me. So this is a challenge to me. I saw a story about Alexander the Great, that is one of the great person in, in, in the world. A father of him tried to kill him. Imagine, your father want to kill you and he became the greater. So is not what comes from outside. You have to go beyond the duality, fighting the problem. This is not the problem. To solve the problem, the problem dissolve, never solve. If you try to solve the problem, you give power to the problem. You should go in other place. Eh? You should see that this is a challenge, this is an ambush, and go beyond and say, this is you, not me. And in this way, you can take the qualities inside to answer and to go beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Pierre.